How Google Cloud Composer Manages Workflow Orchestration Before users get started with Google Cloud Composer, a workflow orchestration service, they need to grasp key concepts of the Apache Airflow software that underpins it, including DAGs. Read now. Article. Google Tool Signals Move to Greater Cloud Transparency. Access transparency users can review the work Google admins did on their cloud accounts. It's a step toward greater accountability, but large organizations will want even more. Read now. 3. Managing Google Cloud Platform Containers and Functions The major public cloud providers have bet heavily on containers and serverless platforms, and Google is no exception. The company behind Kubernetes, the de facto standard for container orchestration, has made the open-source technology a centerpiece of its cloud services through Google Kubernetes Engine. It has also expanded the capabilities of Google Cloud Functions for developers who want to build event-driven architectures. And while serverless and containers are often seen as competing development technologies, Google is spearheading an effort to bridge the two with its Knative open source project. Article. Compare management options for Google Kubernetes Engine. Google supports various management options for its Kubernetes Engine service, and while each has its pros and cons, you should base your decision largely on experience. Read now. Article. Google Stackdriver enhances alerts, adds Kubernetes support. A recent round of updates to Google's monitoring tool gives IT and development teams more options to set up alerts, track usage and support Kubernetes, both in the cloud and on-premises. Read now. Article. Knative Project Stokes Interest in Event-Driven IT Ops. The Knative Project is nascent, but Kubernetes users said they believe it could facilitate the next generation of IT infrastructure management. Read now. Article. Write your first Google Cloud function with these three tips. To build a serverless function, many developers require a shift in mindset. Use these three tips to create a cost-effective and high-performing function in Google Cloud Platform. Read now. Article. Choose the right workloads for serverless platforms in cloud. Serverless might be the next big thing in cloud, but that doesn't mean it's a fit for all enterprise workloads. See if your requirements align with these common use cases. Read now. For Google Machine Learning and AI Services. The public cloud is a good fit for AI and machine learning. Data scientists can quickly access massive amounts of compute power and storage capacity to test a project and train models. Enterprises with limited AI experience can turn to API-based services to incorporate speech analysis and image recognition. Google has a long history with AI internally, and it has extended that experience to its Google Cloud services with tensor processing units and a growing list of prepackaged machine learning services. Article. Evaluate Google Cloud TPUs for machine learning apps. Machine learning apps have prompted a paradigm shift in the world of public cloud. Google is an early market leader with its TPUs and TensorFlow, but can it stay on top? Read now. Article. Explore speech-to-text services from AWS, Microsoft and Google. AWS, Microsoft and Google can add speech-to-text capabilities to apps, but they're not your only option. Compare those cloud-based tools to other AI-infused transcription services. Read now. Article. TensorFlow. JS brings machine learning to JavaScript. Google has delivered a version of its TensorFlow machine learning library to support JavaScript developers, and the technology has proved to be a hit with users. Read now. Article. Get to know these key Google machine learning services. Looking to infuse AI and machine learning into your cloud apps. Use this list of terms to explore which Google Cloud services offer features for speech-to-text, image analysis and more. Read now. 5. Google vs. AWS vs. Azure. Google, AWS and Microsoft are the market leaders in public cloud computing and continually fight for enterprise workloads. AWS is the first choice for many IT pros, because of its maturity in the market and its large selection of offerings, but Azure is gaining momentum due to Microsoft's already established presence in enterprises. Google takes third place, according to many industry analysts and experts, but the vendor's competitive pricing and new features, particularly around containers, could help it rise in popularity. Article. Compare cloud container registries from AWS, Azure and Google. Many developers use the Docker Hub container registry, but there are other options from AWS, Azure and Google. Explore these provider-native registries, and their key differences.
Read now. Article. Evaluate cloud API management tools from top providers. While the API management tools from top cloud providers share some functionality, there are key differences that developers, especially those in a multi-cloud model, should know. Read now. Article. How AWS, Azure and Google approach service mesh technology. While AWS, Azure and Google all offer service mesh technologies to streamline microservices management, they also have distinct differences users should understand. Read now. Article. AWS, Microsoft and Google push on with hybrid cloud strategies. As enterprises' appetite for hybrid cloud grows, the rivalry between AWS, Microsoft and Google will increasingly revolve around on-premises environments. Read now. Article. A look at serverless platforms from AWS, Azure and Google. AWS Lambda, Azure Functions and Google Cloud Functions are all key offerings in the fast market. Review the variations in language support, integration options and costs that set them apart. Read now.